questions. All right. Uh, thanks for coming. It's uh, sure an exciting day for our football program as we announce uh, 20 new commitments to our program. And I'm just really appreciative of all the people that put in the effort to make this day become a reality. Our assistant coaches, I thought, did a great job of establishing relationships and earning the trust of prospects and parents to have commitments early and then hang on to those commitments throughout the uh, entire recruiting process. And to get them signed today, it's uh, a great day and uh, somewhat uh, relief that it's over with this uh, portion of our recruiting for this year. And then you move on and look to how you're going to develop these guys and get them fit into the total plan. Uh, defensively, we recruited across the board, all positions. We needed, felt we had needs at all positions offensively. And we felt we needed to get some offensive tackle types up front. And uh, we were able to do that along with a real good prospect, that offensive guard with Connor Cruz, Otto Konia. And then, uh, you know, at quarterback, it was time to sign a quarterback. And we're excited about uh, the quarterback, uh, Boltman, that we have coming in. Needed some receivers that had some wiggle and speed. Uh, we're real happy with our big receivers. They're big physical guys, but um, you know we just felt we needed different types to add to the mix to be a more diverse at receiver. And then uh, added a tight end to the mix. Uh, we passed on a running back this year, but we do have uh, you know four guys that we added to the roster this semester. And James Johannesson really creates some depth for us at running back and. Cam McKinney at receiver and Andrew Zimmerman at quarterback. And, uh, you know, so those guys, Tamas Stewart at safety, you know, they're also uh, on campus now. But these 20 guys today are uh, what we're talking about today, I guess. How would you describe this class? You know, I think this class is um, a class that we uh, really feel wants to be at the University of North Dakota. You know, and that's important. When we look at this process and how we go about it, you know, I, I look at that with uh, the guys you invite in to be coaches here, the guys you invite in to play here. They got to really believe this place is special and they want to do great things for the University of North Dakota. We got a bunch of young men that are really uh, play a number of different sports, but as we went out and watched them compete and baseball and run track and we had them here on campus you know 75 percent of these guys were in our camp and we just see that they're uh, going to make people around them better by how they interact with the other people at camp or with their teammates and you know that's one thing with uh, Boltman he's a hockey player and he um, is the catcher on the baseball team and those were huge when we watched him compete in those other sports how we felt about him as quarterback Talking about Boltman, what impresses you most about him coming in here? Well, his leadership ability. You know, he's a great leader and a fierce competitor. You know, we uh, we just have a place in our hearts for guys that want to compete year round. It tells you something about the individual. You know, you, I, I think it's really hard to go from football to hockey, and he plays in a good hockey program. I don't know much about hockey, but I think Edina is all right. Um, and, you know, then to go into baseball and compete in the summertime, it was difficult for him to get to our camp. You know, we wanted to get him here so we could compare him to some other guys. So he took time out of his summer schedule because he loves to compete and he knows that it's important to be with your teammates. So uh, other than his ability, we really love his leadership ability and his, his willingness to compete year round. Minnesota, how important was it to kind of establish your foothold there? Well, we think Minnesota is important to us. We have a lot of students on our campus from Minnesota. This uh, university that um, I think has a really, really good reputation in Minnesota. And we think it's important to, uh, to do a good job within a five-hour radius of our campus. We got to get our heart and soul from that five-hour radius. And, you know, it, it's no secret the numbers of players participating in North Dakota schools have decreased. And we, we really love the North Dakota guys, but it becomes more challenging with the drops in enrollment in our state. And, 
you know, Minnesota has the most people close by. So we think within five hours and six hours, we got to do a really good job. And I think we've been able to do that. And that's a real credit to our coaches, getting out in those schools and establishing those relationships with coaches and, and then early on with prospects so they trust in what we're doing and the vision we have for our program. Late in the game, kind of, um, you guys announced the uh, future move to the Missouri Bob Football Conference. How, uh, how did that change the game and the recruiting aspect? It didn't really change anything. Um, you know, we're committed to being the best team that we can be, and uh, we know that uh, the Big Sky plays a little bit different style than the Missouri Valley as a whole. But uh, we know who we want to be on defense. We want to be really athletic and fast on defense, and we'll probably continue by the way we evaluate people and how we want to play. We are not going to be the, the biggest defense on the field. We want to be the most physical and the most explosive, and that's the goal for us. And then offensively, we know the areas we got to get better. We got to become more physical than we were a year ago and two years ago because we aren't where we want to be yet. But, uh, you know, so um, our philosophy stayed the same. And, uh, you know, our focus right now is to keep recruiting and be the best we can be. But we understand we're competing in the big sky for three more seasons. And then, you know, we, we're moving into the Missouri Valley after that. You mentioned James Johansson. He's not a recruit, obviously, but there's no running backs that you have, and you have <coughs> plenty of running backs now. Um, what's kind of the plan for Johansson coming in as well? Well, it's a big spring for him. We really love his work ethic. The guy is one of our strongest guys in our football team, and we, you know, when we uh, were able to contact him and had permission to contact, that was the big thing. That was his rep at his former school down there, and it's a Big Ten school in Minnesota, and. He was a hard worker and very strong in the weight room. And our, his strength coaches uh, just love that guy at the University of Minnesota. And our strength coaches love him, too, because he works hard and he brings it every day. Uh, we're going to give him the football. We're going to give him that opportunity. And you know, we, we didn't feel we had the depth at running back that we really needed for the way we want to play. You know, it, now we feel we have more running backs. We can use those guys more on special teams. You know, we always had to be concerned with John and Brady on special teams because you can only pass around so many reps and uh, you get thin in a hurry. But uh, we think James will contribute there and it's an important spring that he learns the offense and uh, we think he can be uh, an all around back. He has good hands, he can pass protect and he's a powerful runner. You guys feel like you fulfilled all your needs that you were wanting to get filled in this class? Well, you know, we address the needs. And is it ever perfect? No, it's not perfect. And we're going to keep working. Recruiting is a continuous process. You know, I would uh, see us looking uh, here throughout the spring if guys become available, any transfers, and you try to work them into the roster. Now it gets more difficult as we're more established. You know, a couple of years ago, we had so many spots open, we could add all kinds of transfers. And now we got to be really selective. But uh, we're always going to be recruiting and trying to improve the talent on our football team. I just think that's the wise thing and the prudent thing to do. Very good. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.